Hello everyone and welcome on into Training Days. I'm Miles Simmons here with Greg Williams, defensive coordinator for the St. Louis Rams. And coach, I want to ask you a little bit about these defensive alignments. So when people talk about the 4-3 base alignment, what does that mean? Well, Miles, it's, it's funny and I think I went back a, a couple of weeks ago and I talked about having 42 of these types of packages. And this is one of our packages, the 4-3 alignment, that we call regular. And it's our regular package of when our guys trot on on the field. And it's basically, it's four defensive linemen, it's three linebackers, and four DBs. And out of the four DBs, it's two corners, two safeties. Out of the three linebackers, there's a strong side linebacker, a middle linebacker, and a weak side linebacker. And out of the defensive ends, it's two defensive ends, two ends and two tackles. But these cats are all different in every way as we try to, as we try to use their strengths and hide their weaknesses. But it's one of the 18 that we have installed here, and it's really our base defensive structure of where we start everything here at the Rams. All right, so then you talked a little bit about this, but these four defensive linemen, so there's a numbering system that goes there. Just what is that numbering system and how was it developed? That numbering system was invented by Bum Phillips. And what we do is, is that we take, we start with the center position. And if it's straight head up to that center position, we call that a zero alignment. And it's zero right where the ball is. And then every position out of there, if you're head up on those positions, it's a zero, two, four, six, if you're head up. Now look, from an alignment, when you align on an offensive lineman, there is a heads alignment, there is a shade alignment, and then there's a loose alignment. And what predicts what kind of alignment you're in, is it gonna be a run or is it gonna be a pass? And then how do you allow the players to adapt and even do more with those alignments? So now, when we have a shade on the center position, we just call that a shade position. The outside of every lineman is an odd number. One on the center, three on the guard, five on the tackle, nine all the way outside because we've done a few things here where we've taken the tight end position and we've kind of broken the rule and said seven's an inside shade, nine's an outside shade, but six right now. We like the fact that we have a numbering system. We can line these guys up any way we want, but then we give them the creativity of when you are shaded, is it a run or a pass? And you can make those shades looser or tighter predicated on what you think they're getting ready to do. All right. So now, you talked a little bit about this during OTAs, but you know we've got two tackle positions. But what are some of the differences between those two tackles? Well, for instance, what we've done is if we've adapted the skill set of a tremendous football player in Aaron Donald. And that what we do with him is, is that we play him and we isolate him as the three technique. And we isolate Michael Brockers as the shaded nose guard technique. Why? You like your bigger players closer to the ball. You like your maybe smaller players or lighter players at that position a little bit away from the ball. He's able to kind of clean up some of the things that we allow Aaron instinctively to do. He's one of the few kids that we allow to do that. I've not, I've not had very many kids that when the offense flips that I just let Michael move over here and then him move over here. But he's so quick and he is so smart, Michael Brockers, we're allowed to do that. All right, that's excellent. But so the next thing I want to ask you about is a stunt. What exactly does that mean when it comes to the defensive line? Stunt is a terminology that we use that we are playing the run. So when we stunt, what we do is, is that you all as an offense think that we're in these shaded alignments. But what we'll do is, is that we will cross and stunt back into another gap. We use the word stunt for run when we're, whenever we are doing something differently and we're moving the lineman in run, but in pass we call it a game. So it's, we're just trying to speak the right language and we tell them this is a game so they're thinking pass and reacting to run. Manning takes, looks, pump fakes, big rush going down. Man, Peyton Manning sacked back at the 40. First one there was Robert Quinn, second one there was Aaron Donald. All right, Coach, so this was a pretty big situation here in the Broncos game, and Aaron Donald came through with a pretty big sack. Can you just take us through it? Uh, they came out, and we had a particular huddle call in here 
but we did not know that they were going to be in a no-back formation. As you see, they have no backs in the backfield. The only back that's back there is a quarterback. And uh, the thing that I'm most proud about this is, is James Laurinaitis has to be an extension of me. Uh, he has to be the play caller out there, and I tell everybody all the time is, what defense we're we playing? We're playing the defense that James calls, not what I call. And what we did was is that we gamed, because it's pass rush, and we gamed into different gaps that they thought we were going to be is, and we tricked it around and brought one of the most dominant pass rushers in the league. Here comes Robert Quinn in somewhere else where they don't expect him. Robert should have got the sack. Wow, and he was so hot. And what happened was, all of a sudden, look at Aaron Donnell who dominated his guy, this trick is supposed to be for these two guys. The only thing that could have been better was for Aaron to knock the ball out and we could have recovered a fumble and scored on defense. Both those great players, the instincts they have on finishing those play, it's fun to coach these kind of guys. All right, I'm sure it is. And Coach, thank you so much for your insight. And fans, thank you for joining us on Training Days.